What's going on guys and welcome to a brand new Hello Neighbor update video. Now yes, I know I have not said those words in a very long time and by a very long time I mean over a year at this point. Well, we have some exciting news to discuss because I'm sure you guys can see by the title and the thumbnail Hello Neighbor 2 was just announced, okay? And it's going to be coming for Xbox Series X and PC. We have a trailer that we're going to be breaking down today's video. We're going to be watching it, reacting to it, and of course breaking it down. Then we're probably going to also check out the Steam page and see if that's going to give us any more details on the game and stuff like that. But man, am I excited. I was always a fan of Hello Neighbor and uh, now that we're getting a second one, I just I can't wait to see what it's going to look like. But of course, if you guys are excited and you cannot wait to see Hello Neighbor 2 return to the channel, demolish that like button down below. And yeah, you guys already know what to do. Let's just crush some insane like goal of like 10k likes and we will definitely be covering some more Hello Neighbor 2 on the channel. But let's go ahead and get into the announcement trailer and begin. All right, here we go, guys. Missing the neighbor? Oh, okay, simming. <laughs> the heck? Ooh. What the heck kind of creature? Oh. So he doesn't have a basement anymore. He has like a attic. What the? Oh no. No, no, no. We're we're watching him and we're approaching him? No, no, no. Bad I don't go near his house. What are these graphics? It looks so good. Wait, we're putting tea to boil? What? Oh, it's gonna it's gonna make noise and he's gonna go to it. <gasps> oh my gosh, this is so sick. What? Dude, I love how like it's actually stealthy now. You can do different things, hide different places. I mean you could do that before, but now it seems like it's a lot more like intuitive. Intuitive. Oh, he can find the camera, so now he knows we're here. Oh no, lock the. He knows. You gotta get out of there, bro. You gotta go. Oh my. So he knows we're there now because he found that camera and he's looking around for us now. Get out! Get out! Get out! You got what you need. You got the key. Oh look, there's a neighbor drawing on the wall right there. No, throw it at him, throw it at him, stun him, stun him. Oh, you can trip him. That's such a cool feature. Okay, okay, lock it. <laughs> Dude, this is awesome. What? He has tools to get in? <laughs> no way. He has... Oh my gosh, I love that. And you saw there was a ladder there too, so that must be another way of getting in. Oh, I don't think it's a working ladder though. Wow, look at this map. And there's our car. Oh my, no way, he actually drags you back in. Okay, okay, hello neighbor 2020. It was him the whole time. It was him. What, play the alpha. Okay, so if I'm not mistaken, the alpha, it, it, there was a game, it, it wasn't Secret Neighbor, there was a game that they were talking about and they didn't announce what it was, but everyone was playing it and everyone thought it was Hello Neighbor 2, it's pretty obvious, but no one know for, knew for sure. And it seems like that alpha that everyone was playing was actually Hello Neighbor 2. And that this crow guy that we were seeing in that alpha is the neighbor. That's the neighbor right there. Oh my. Okay, we gotta break this down, but overall, I'm so excited. I, like, after seeing this, I wasn't sure. You know, I wasn't sure going into this. But after seeing that, I'm super excited for this game. And if you guys are too, like I said, just demolish that like button down below. And actually drop a comment down below saying hello neighbor, okay? Let's see how many of you guys are actually interested in this game. But let's begin this uh, breakdown here. So, it looks like, you know, he's he's simming. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> Missing, I guess. But it's like, I think, yeah, they replaced the M and put an S there. And then replaced the S's and put M's. So, that's interesting. And it's the neighbor. So, everyone kind of thinks that the neighbor's missing. And for some reason... We're going to find him, but look at this. So, okay, this is the neighbor's perspective right here. He's locking up this room with a key, and that's our main objective. Something in the attic. Before, it was in the basement, but this time it's the attic. Which, by the way, how did he get up there? Is this man levitating? <laughs> what is he standing on? He's literally levitating on thin air. That is impressive, but uh, <laughs> that's his secret room, which is out in the open for everyone to see. Now, I'm curious what's going to be in there, though. Now, of course, we're obviously spying on him. And wait, what was that right there on the bottom left? Did you guys see that? Wait a minute. Look, see that right there? What is that? Huh. I don't know. All right, let's begin. Let's continue, though. So, 
obviously this is his main little house right here this seems to be you know where things go down he's got his, his furnace in there and stuff like that um if we continue right here this the the graphics on this game which obviously on a video like this that you guys are watching it's not going to look as good as in person but wow do they look impressive they look really good there's so many different environment details and stuff like that that it just looks awesome uh it looks like the front door is actually going to be locked so that's why you went through the window right here most likely and there's caution tape everywhere too so this is definitely some place that you shouldn't be also you've got words right there which probably spell out something m-s-e-g um i have no idea and then a pig's head right there totally normal stuff in the neighbor's house just totally normal <laughs> And of course, we're going through exploring and stuff like that. And I love the idea that we can actually set distractions now. So he puts down this tea kettle and sets it to high. So obviously, it's going to go off. And then he hides in the room, puts a camera down, hides in the room. Now he's hiding, or he's holding, I think, more cameras in his arms and stuff like that. But I love the idea that you can actually hide inside of closets and stuff like this and actually watch the neighbor go by. Now, somehow he doesn't see us with all these openings in the closet, but. It's an intense moment right there as he just kind of creeps by. We switch to, obviously, our, like, I guess it's like a monitoring system. So we pull it out so we can actually watch him. So this is going to be super interesting. You can put these, uh, depending on how many cameras you actually have. I'm hoping there's going to be, like, a shop or something, maybe. Um, and you can actually buy cameras and, like, customize how you actually want to play the game. Because that would be awesome. But, you know, I'm assuming, you know, you can put a camera here. You can put a camera at the front door and upstairs whenever you get up there. So you can kind of monitor the neighbor and find out exactly where he is. And then kind of, you know, strategize how you're going to play this just like that. Now, if you guys notice, there's also wires right here hold on a second there's wires coming off the wall now this is actually running these right here but it could have something to do with another door or something like that because you guys remember the doors in secret neighbor i think they're run by wires too and you have to like power certain things on and get certain keys so i'm curious if that might play into effect right here um also just the stairs and stuff like that it looks like this is a three-story house he's got a variety of different rooms now this is the room that we saw his main room that we saw right here him hiding the key right there there's also a place for us to hide which we saw later on and this giant furnace right here which he throws the camera into that's so that's obviously Obviously just for him to throw away you know stuff that we put out there to block him and stuff like that and there's also this room right here which he goes around uh this blue room over here which he uses to get around to the other side so we know that that doesn't lead anywhere secret it just leads to the other side of the house now obviously this is what happens when he finds your camera now i'm wondering how did he find the camera does it make a noise or was he just randomly looking around like does he search for the cameras and then he finds them and then searches for you afterwards or what i think his main goal is to just find the camera and then destroy it as soon as possible because that seems like what he's doing right here he runs into this room instantly destroys it he's also got levers right there and stuff like that and a bunch of different items that you can actually use to like break glass and like you know distract him and stuff like that um and it looks like there's actually like jars with like a heart on them i don't know what that is <laughs> and then there's that creepy blue room that he just runs into but uh, it looks like i mean overall i just i love what i see so far especially this portion right here by the way check out all the shoes right there that those pair of red shoes actually look familiar but that's a lot of uh shoes right there buddy oh pal whose shoes are those i just i love the fact that you can actually trip them though with this this uh coat iron or coat rod whatever you call that that is so awesome and he just I, i'm just i'm hoping this isn't only for the trailer and there actually is going to be stuff like this around the map that you can actually get them to like jump into and stuff like that because that would be so much fun but Still super cool to see in the trailer. Um, then obviously you've got another room right here which you can obviously lock and you know keep them out. But I just I love this fact too that he brings out a chainsaw. But you can not, once again see another one of our items right here, which we didn't have to find. So you can tell this is probably just for the trailer. Usually you have to find all this stuff, but yeah, still really cool to see. Um, I just, wait, hold on. Where's the part where he brings out the, the chainsaw? I have to see this. Which, by the way, that's just so funny that he like turns around. He's like, yeah, I can't get to you. I'm just, I'll be right back. I'll, I'll get something to get you. All right, there we go. So he has a, uh, whatever you call that thing with a giant blade on it. And he just starts cutting at the door to get to you that is insanity but overall this looks really cool i mean obviously he follows you out the window he chases you down and uh you escape into what appears to be almost like an open world because the thing is you get inside of a car now in other games you know you would think you there you if you're gonna get in a car you would drive around obviously drive it off the the area but we obviously get dragged away before we can but i am curious if this is going to be an open world hello neighbor game i don't see how that could work out but it would be very interesting regardless because like it looks like there's a ton of different areas to explore or maybe just the maps in general are now way bigger than they were in the last game. But overall, I'm excited. Now, it says 2021, which obviously is pretty far away. But hey, you know, I'll wait that long for a game that looks as, as good as this one does so far. Now, here is the Steam page, which I figure let's also break this down and check it out. See, this is what everyone was playing, the Hello Guest. And no one knew if it was Hello Neighbor 2 or not. Well, now it's confirmed because, well, check out this little, you know, obviously you have box art right here. It says Hello Neighbor 2 is a stealth horror game where you're being stalked by a mysterious creature as you try to track down Mr. Peterson, the neighbor, who has disappeared after the events of the first game. Play against an advanced self-learning AI that tracks and adapts to your every move. So this is interesting, though. It says... You're being stalked by a mysterious creature as you try to track down Mr. Peterson, the neighbor. But in the trailer, he is 
this guy. So have they not updated that yet or? I don't know. I'm confused about that. But then if we just look at the screenshots here, it's all stuff that we've kind of seen in the trailer. Just like high-res stuff. And uh, overall, I just, yeah, I'm super excited. I know I said that a lot in this video, but I am very, very excited for this. Um, then it just goes over some features right here. So um, it kind of says, you know, what we read at the beginning right there. But it also says, you know, oh, look what it says right here. Self-learning AI, open world, and a sandbox experience. Okay, yeah, okay, this is gonna be good. This is gonna be good. This is what I've been waiting for. So, AI explores the environment and constantly seeks ways to ambush the player. AI watches player navigation patterns, and if th these seem to be effective, will replicate them. AI has a daily routine, routine that gets disrupted by the player, sleeping, eating, cooking, and possibly going into the woods to dig up bags of non-bodies. AI will use the same objects as the player, using them for the same purposes. If the player uses the fire extinguisher to get up top, so will the AI. Open world. Explore the Ravenbrooks. There are no limitations and players can go anywhere from the beginning of the game. The AI protects its house when the player is trying to break in and and stalks a player when it, out in the open world. What? That sounds awesome. Players have their own stories. Narrative is emergent depending on how players decide to play the game the world changes depending on your actions sandbox experience players should find creative solutions to solve the puzzle by combining different items terrain features and platforming skills many in-game events are persistent and scheduled in random order that gives a feeling of a living world players may examine each random in-game event to find a different outcome so guys i mean that is it overall man this sounds like it's going to be a blast it's going to be open world which is going to be awesome it's going to change to how you play the game and it just it sounds like everything every problem that i had with hello neighbor one it sounds like they've taken all that and it seems like they've fixed it all and now this is going to be like you know it's going to be a lot of fun and that's just that's what i've been waiting for so you're going to be able to actually explore around the map and there's going to be the neighbor's house that you can actually go to whenever you want now i'm curious is it if, it, if it's gonna, just going to be like his normal old house and is that going to get stale and boring i'm assuming it's going to be his house but every time you go to it it's going to get bigger or change in some way um, but then you can obviously explore around the map too, which I'm curious what that's going to play like, because there has to be maybe side quests or something like that, other characters to interact with, and like other stories to do, because if you're just able to roam around the area, you know, what's the point of that? There has to be something for us to look around and find, and I'm just curious what that's actually going to be. But overall, like, I just, I can't believe that it's, it's going to be free roam. I think that's the biggest surprise for me here because I went into this thinking, okay, it's just going to be like Hello Neighbor 1. You're going to be able to just go to the neighbor's house and, you know, you know, do stuff to him and then get out and just escape. Um, and then, you know, this is actually going to be where you're, you're, you have the option of going to the neighbor's house. You don't have to go there. You can actually go around free roam and explore, drive around your big old van and stuff like that and just have a good time. <laughs> so... I just, I can't wait to see how this is going to play out. Anyways, guys, I'm going to end this video here. If you guys are excited for Hello Neighbor 2, you guys know what to do. Demolish that like button down below. If you're new to the channel, you haven't already, and you're looking forward to some Hello Neighbor 2 content, destroy that subscribe button, but not too hard, okay? You don't want to break your tablet, nothing like that. But I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.